Hi everyone, this is Kai from WCC and I've got my friend Hugh here who placed second at Card Fight Vanguard Premium in Sydney. He played a really weird deck, but it was incredibly strong. It was Pale Moon for Premium. Hugh, what, what would you like to say about your deck? And you really want experience with this. Uh, so I think it's not that good, but uh, yeah, you should be, how to say, you have to endure half the game suffering from all the attack <laughs> until you can do the stuff. Man. <laughs> okay, alright. So is it with this deck, I've heard you've played this deck for a long time, play Pale Moon. You, you're the Pale Moon God in, in, in Australia. How do you feel about that? I think people are like, just exaggerating it like, <laughs> a lot because not much people choose this to the tournament. Mm. But I think like this is my favorite thing, and maybe next year there will be no Vanguard. So yeah, I should do it today. Man. <laughs> okay, all right, good answer. So we've got your deck here. Can you just go through maybe some of this, some of your deck that makes your deck better than everything else, and why you're able to do so well with this specific specific build of Pale Moon? Yeah, so I think like. The most important thing is Pale Moon in this format is mm -hmm. not good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can like do well in the tournament because it's a team format, so mm -hmm. I may avoid all the matchup that I'm scared. Yep, yep. So all the matchup that have solid early game, solid first try, mm -hmm. just like Bagunda deck. <laughs> yeah, it's what I'm scared the most. So if I like face something like OTT, mm -hmm. Shadow, like early is average. It's okay, yeah. man. I like it. Okay, all right. Um, we saw you do some a lot of damage stalling yeah. in your feature matches. Is, is that your game plan? Just do a lot of st stall the opponent, stall out the game until you use dust. Is that your uh, main finisher, or is there a special other way you approach the matchup? Yeah. So I think it would depend on the matchup because uh, I think if you like. If you tried the deck before, you mm -hmm. would never try to dust opponent from 0 to 6 or, one to six <laughs> yes, or something yeah. because yeah. 2 triggers stop everything. Yes, yes, yeah. But because of the premium collection, everything starts going crazy. Like with 1 CB, it could kill you, man. I don't have much hand before I can strike. <laughs> so what I can do is to reduce opponent resource yeah. by keeping them from, from killing me, yeah, yeah. I guess. I think with some of the comments, when with some people watching the stream, they were amazed at how you were able to just generate hand from nothing, with just a one happiness collector, you have to get so much cards. Is, yeah. is it, that's just the game plan, is it? That's just how you roll. Yeah, I think that's a game plan. But it just like it just looks fancy because <laughs> if you think about it another way, yeah, you activate Ichikishima, you draw two cards. It's the same like you activate two time happiness collector. Okay. It's faster, man. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's talk about some of the matchups you went on your on the day. How did you go? You, you eventually ended up second place, but yeah. what what did you fight to get there? So the first six round round one, my opponent was Kagero. Yeah, they retired the collector on turn two. <laughs> I think so because they sold last two. I forgot about it, man. <laughs> okay, but it's Kagero, so it couldn't do much, I guess. So early game, they'll take me one line, try, they go into Damjit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the, the PG. Yeah. But it cannot resend. Uh, why it cannot resend? Because you have to play a Sentinel or a yeah. Jigar, yeah. I couldn't remember the detail, but like, yeah, I survived through his first try and then I find my hand. And then next turn I dust and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What about oh. yeah? What about oh, yeah. the other? Hmm? He did the cruel dragon, man. I thought I would lost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In top, like, let's say top eight. What what did you find top eight? First yeah. Round? So pretty much first six round is kind of easy. Yeah. Except the Andy matchup. <laughs> the Andy matchup. Okay. okay. All right. And so, top eight, I vice Andrew. He mm -hmm. using Dark Irregular. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's a favorable matchup because mm -hmm. the build right now for Dark Irregular, like they can't do much until they hit strike. They hit strike, pretty much you die anyways. <laughs> so what you want to do is to either take the first try or to make sure that they have no CB for gas style. Mm -hmm. So I think just take the first try to stall. Yeah, so I got the first try eventually. I fed yeah. my hand. Good job. And then 
I got all the stuff to disrupt his field until I saw him like he was really smart because he's he got a lot of experience mm -hmm. how he like he put the back row and front row on with big power so even if I kill something on the front row as a scene will come out and then attack so no point <laughs> yet, right? Yeah. so I have to wait until like he attack with a style so blast on the sword so no more as a scene to God, but by the time it's like too late, so yeah, I just take the damage and die. <laughs> the last two games is like not much about it. It was kind of luck based because he was unlucky. The so game two, he cannot uh, G assist until for the red two, so I just try and kill him. Mm -hmm. And for game three, I have to ride Alice, so I can't do much. I have to like risk it, go to Princess attack, so one, two, three, four damage, no trigger, so he dies. Just like standard, man. Just but like it's, that. But in a game, my opponent always damage trigger, two, three, something, I can't do anything, man. <laughs> okay, alright, so is there any shout outs you wanna say? In, anyone you wanna thank or...? Yeah, I think like, Andrew was... He, he should be the winner if like, that game went properly, but somehow I won, so I have to carry it for him to <laughs> Alright, okay. Thanks, thanks you. Thanks for the interview and incredible deck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.